Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be doing my January favorites. It's going to be more than just one month because I look at my channel and the last time I did the favorites was like in November. So yeah, December, January. So it's been a hot minute and I do have a lot of products and a lot of stuff that I wanna share with you. So grab a drink because this might be a pretty long video. So the winter so far has been crazy. We had like super cold days, so we have super warm day, and today is like one of those beautiful days. I'm like wearing very, you know, kind of thin blouse because it's pretty nice and warm outside. And we had already super, super cold days to the point that our pipe froze in the bathrooms, which is pretty scary because it can burst. Yeah, <laughs> let's hope it's not gonna get too crazy cold. But anyway, uh, there is a, there's quite a few products I wanted to start with as usual. Then I'm gonna go to um, little uh, small things. I have one pair of shoes and I have two handbags that I wanna share with you. So I think I'm gonna start big. I'm gonna start with your prestige. Um, I did recently a haul, a big haul, and I talked to you about a couple of items, but I want to really highlight two. So if you want to see this video, I'll link it up there. Um, please go and check it out. It's a huge, huge, huge haul. But I want to highlight two products that really kind of uh, blew my mind right away, basically. So the first one is the lotion, and this is obviously from the Prestige line. And like I mentioned in my other video, it's like, um, it's like a thicker consistency. You can see it's like a milky kind of a water, but it's thicker. It's not very watery, uh, but it's also not super thick. Now, I don't want you to think like it's, you know, it's, as you can see on my hand, it's still gonna run a little bit, but it's, it's like a thicker kind of a milky consistency lotion which you are supposed to apply before you do your makeup so after you wash your face either morning or evening um, you know put it on then uh, obviously follow up with your moisturizer and, and serums all that stuff and then obviously your makeup but basically this really helps to kind of lock that moisture into your face so especially if you have a super dry skin I would highly recommend or drier skin like me. Um, it is expensive, but look how big it is. It's 100, I think it was 150 mil. So it's pretty big and, you know, I have been using it for a few weeks now and, you know, you can tell <laughs> it's gone a little bit. But again, I take about pump, maybe pump and a half of this and I just distribute on my face and it feels so good. So highly, highly recommend. The other product that I only use a few times, but I just, I have to mention you guys, this is the scrub from also the Dior Prestige line. And it did came with this super bougie um, kind of um, a spoon <laughs> or the scoop, whatever you want to call it. The jar is like unbelievably beautiful. I mean, the presentation of this product is like, it's amazing and like I mentioned I use it a few times you're supposed to use it um, twice or three times a week it is like a rosy sugar scrub basically this is how it looks inside it has a very tiny particles of you know I think it's like a sugar you know but it feels like tiny tiny scent on your face and what I've noticed and I had to read a little bit about this because what I've noticed when I kind of rub this you know let's say on a slim, slightly damp face you know you kind of rub it rub it rub it rub it and after like a minute or so uh, those sugary particles kind of dissolve and it's just you can feel like there's like a little mask staying on your face like it's like a little coat of I don't want to say waxy because waxy doesn't sound good, but it kind of feels like that, but feels very, very good. So you're supposed to kind of leave it for a minute and then rinse off your face. So I, like I said, I did it like a few times and I usually do it before I go to shower. So I kind of, you know, wet my face a little bit and then just rub it in and then I can kind of wash it off in the shower because it can get a little messy, you know, obviously it's a <laughs> face exfoliator and the face feels so soft after this. So it is pricey. I think it was either $120, $110. You know, it's pretty pricey, but I would highly recommend to get this. Obviously, you got a fancy scoop in there. <laughs> so um, it's a very nice product. Um, I love it so far. 
So speaking of Dior, I have a few more Dior products. So let's go with a foundation. This is one of the newest foundation that I have purchased and it's the Capture Total Super Potent Serum Foundation. This foundation is amazing. I think especially if you have, you know, if you're getting a little bit more mature like I am and like I said, if your skin is not the most um, plump, <laughs> you know, and if you have a little dryness, this foundation is truly unbelievable. Um, unbelievable. I have it on today. I've been wearing for quite quite a while. I have it for probably about two months or so, and uh, I love the pump. So the you know the applicator. I always love the pump in the foundation. By the way, this is like the best. And um, I don't know the the color matches my skin perfectly. I I'm gonna put it in the down description box because I cannot really see it. This is like translucent. Uh, what exact color I have, but I match myself basically online, and it's like a perfect match. Um, I always go from you know one of the lightest, and it's amazing. I love this foundation. Um, you should try it. I know it's expensive. I believe it's eighty five dollars, but. In my opinion, it's worth every penny. All right, let's talk about the blush. The blush that I have on today. So it is also from Dior. And I believe this is like such a great kind of fall wintery blush that I really have been using for a whole December, even in November. Um, this is in the color 459 Charnel. And let me just show you how it looks like. It is kind of... A little bit I would say peachy but it's it's a little bit bronzy at the same time it's not quite a peachy <laughs> if you know what I mean it's very beautiful it is not the most like a luminous bronze uh, blush uh, that's why I have something else on but I absolutely love the color of this I think it's perfect for you know like I said for those cooler months and I usually do gravitate towards those kind of peachy blushes and this one is just it's a little bit darker than your like usual you can probably see the color here very good it's a little bit darker than your usual peach but I do like it I do like it very much so I'll definitely link this down below for you to try and then one of my favorite lip combos I have three favorite lipsticks this month by the way well the f past few months um, the first combo is the Dior uh, lipstick in the color five six two five um, and it is a matte kind of a pinky rosy color it's really pretty very very pretty and don't be scared if I say it's matte it's very not as mattifying as your standard uh, matte lipstick but if you feel a little bit scared uh, use some kind of a lip gloss doesn't have to be this one I do happen to have it and I do like it this is the lip maximizer from Dior as well you know this is like a little you know kind of a lip gloss that you can just you know put it on if you feel like your lips getting a little bit dry Dior matte is not very mattifying that it's just gonna you know suck the life out of your lips um, but if I like to pair it with this just to give me a little bit more you know kind of a glossy uh, look on my lips so I do like this as well and obviously you can use this on your own you don't have to use this with any lipstick but the other lipstick that I and I mentioned this so many times it's from Gucci call it a day if you haven't tried this yet I don't know where you have been this is the best lipstick ever it comes in this skinny tube as you can see I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a swatch because this one is so glossy is so juicy it's so plumpy <laughs> I don't know what else to <laughs> say to describe this and it just basically enhance your lips you know it's like your lips but better and if you look at the description box um, this is one of my most worn uh, lipsticks and believe it or not this is the second tube <laughs> I already went through one of them this is the second tube I had to repurchase that's how much I love this lipstick and the last one I wanted to mention which I also wore a lot in my videos and you guys are always asking me about this is the fancy lipstick from the Givenchy this is the lipstick that comes in the super bougie as you can see like velvety case it's really like luxurious and the bullet obviously it's here 
and it's again do you see the similar similarities this is similar to the um, uh, the Dior the one that I'm wearing right now but I would say that this one is even more kind of uh, a little bit more opaque and more kind of berry a little bit more stronger so if you want a little bit um, better color let me swatch the that Gucci so you can actually see three of them in the action so you can maybe see the difference see this uh, Givenchy in the middle is the strongest one um, this one is a little bit more toned down and that's what I have it on today and of course the call it a day Gucci is like the best ever you cannot go wrong with that so yeah these are pretty much the lipsticks that I have been using all the time basically these um, I purchased them during the the last Sephora sale so yeah I love 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 those lipsticks so I also want to share with you two more lip products from Laneige this is something that I have been reaching for constantly for the past few months. We are in the winter, my lips are dry, okay? Uh, just because, you know, the heat is on and then you go outside, it's cold, it's warm, it's cold. It, everything is just gets a little bit messed up. So those two products, which I mentioned on my channel many, many, many times, the first one is the Laneige sleeping mask and I have in the green color. It really doesn't matter. They are all the same. So the sleeping mask is just something that when I'm around the house and I just kind of put a thick layer and obviously I put it at night, but even during the day before I do my makeup, I just use it all the time. This is so nice. Even if you put a thin layer and then you have a little mattifying lipstick, you put it on, it just feels so good. This is such an amazing product, you guys. You have to get it. If you haven't tried this yet, it's really inexpensive. You can get it in Sephora. I'll link it down below. Any of those color jars, it really, there's no scent, to be honest with you. I know they call it like a green apple or citrus or grapefruit or something. There's no scent, really. So it doesn't matter which one you use. Um, this one is something that I keep in my handbag basically all the time. So this is like a little bomb, you know, same version, just a little bit lighter. Uh, and I just use, it's like a squeezy tube like that. And I just use it all the time again, you know, if I don't wear lipstick. So I love these. All right, let's talk about the perfumes. I've got for Christmas the ginger um, from the Twilly line and I love it. You can tell I use it quite a bit. I am obsessed with this. It smells so good. It's actually, it's probably not a winter scent. It's more, I would say like a spring and summer. Oh, you have to get it. Yes, I do love the original Twilly. I don't like the other Twilly Privé or something like that. I don't care about that one, but Ginger and the original Twilly are my favorite. If you haven't tried those two, you have to. I'll link both of them down in the description box. Um, I've got obviously the little baby for Christmas, but if I'll have to like purchase this, I'm gonna go for the full size because I love it so much and last for the whole day. This is definitely one of my favorite, favorite perfumes. And then also, I a few months ago, I purchased those kind of sets of, uh, Mar what's the name of it? Perfume de Marly, I never know how to pronounce. Um, these are like a deluxe samples and I had like six or eight of them, you know, in the package. They were not cheap, they were quite pricey, but I went for it because this is like a great way to try the perfume because they are quite expensive, like um, $300 per each, um, you know, a full size product. So if you get this, which is pretty, pretty decent, you know, this is a pretty big size perfume, you can really try it and see if you like it. So one of my favorites is Meliora. Love this one. There is another one that I have been carrying in my handbag, which is Saf Safanat. I never know how to pronounce, but these two, and you can tell like I use it because you need so little. You don't need to spray, you know, 10 times. You need like two sprays and you're good. They're very kind of potent perfumes. So I will link those below. I don't know if I can find this particular sizes. Like I said, they come in a set. Um, but they come and go so <laughs> I'll probably go I'll link it down the full size for you if you want to try it Those are amazing. I think any of her perfumes are like perfect 
I have one eye cream that I wanted to share with you. Um, this is the from Sashida, which is comes in different packaging. I love Sashida eye creams and I've got some of them for Christmas. I'm like set. <laughs> but for the past few months, I'm gonna say at least three months or maybe more. So I'm probably running low on this. Um, this is the eye cream that I have been using. It's called Uplifting and Firming eye cream from Sushida. So it comes in the pump, very nice packaging. The only thing is I cannot really tell how much I have left. So I might be already pretty much <laughs> to the end because like I said, I have it since the fall, uh, probably like October when I started to use it. So um, yeah, it's, it's, I wish I could tell how much I have, but I'm not gonna repurchase for now because I obviously have the other eye cream, so I have to go through it. But this is something that I'll be definitely, definitely purchasing in the future. If you want, if you're looking for a very good eye cream, go for it. This is just so beautiful and it's just, oh, it just glides and just blends like a dream. I'm telling you guys, go for it. All right, three more beauty products. I have one face product, which I have to recommend. That's something that I've been using for the past few months as my kind of a setting powder. And I'm talking about the Gilline Meteorites. And I do have Gilline Meteorites in limited editions, you know, like a bronzers and blushes and setting powders. But, you know, the original version, I think it's probably the best. <laughs> So I have in the color Pearl Glow, which I think it's the lightest color. Color They do come in at least three, maybe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so it's depend of your, you know, skin color. Obviously, you can pick a little bit different. Mine are, you know, in this lightest color, which is a lot of like pink and, you know, violets and some kind of neutral colors. I love this. I use a big flash, fluffy brush. I kind of swirl all around and I use this as my finishing powder. And then just gives me a little bit, do you see this? I don't have any highlighter on. This is just the glow that those products gives. And I just feel like the, it just kind of pulls the makeup all together. So I would highly, highly recommend this. If you haven't tried yet, it's gonna last you forever, at least for two years, you know, those, because, it's just it's a lot of pearls in one you know it, it is pricey but like i said it's it's a lot of pearls and it's just gonna last you for a long 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 time all right the last two beauty products i want to mention are the tom ford um quads the ones that i have been reaching for over and over and over again uh, during the last few months and we're talking about a body heat and we're talking about sula sable I'm probably mispronouncing it. So the, the Sula Sable 31, this is actually, um, they, are, they are mostly like matte colors. And I do like to combine these two palettes together because like I said, these are mainly matte as you can see. And, it's, and because the heat, the body heat are kind of shimmery and they're beautiful, look at this. It's kind of nice to combine them together so I can put a nice look, you know, using just those two palettes. That's what I have it on today. That's what I have on my eyes. I literally, you know, use these in my crease and, you know, if I need to blend the colors and obviously I use this, um, this lightest color in here. I have like all over my lids. I have this one, you know, in my crease on top of these. I just feel like these two quads are like, perfect together you know because this on its own could be a little tricky unless you use like one color um you know to kind of put all over the lids and you're good to go but if you want to you know kind of play around with the colors and you, you need something more mattifying so that's why i like to combine these two and i have been wearing it a lot a lot a lot if you look at some of the description box in my past videos i have this a lot on my eyes and you know Comfort, I know, it's bougie, it's fancy, but those are very nice eyeshadows. I need to quickly mention my um, Prada loafers. I know I talk about these so many times already, but just a quick mention, I'm still loving it. I'm still wearing them. Um, if they're still available, I'll certainly link them down below. Go for it. If you are thinking, 
to get them go for it these are the best shoes ever i don't have many accessories um i have to give a shout out to this beauty which is my cosmetic case i'm not sure if this particular one will be available you know the shana always comes up to a different colors that's i have it for a few years but um this particular size you can always have you know find it if not in the stores, in the pre-owned market, a fashion file has a lot of them. I'll try to link it, uh, a few of them below so you can go check it out. There's also a bigger version, but I like this one in particular one because it's very nice to keep it in your handbag so you can put all your, you know, all your essentials, all your lipsticks and, you know, things that you need. So I really, really have been loving this baby. And I have, of course, I have to talk about this, the two bracelets. It's my uh, Bulgari bracelet. And of course, the one that I've got for Christmas. This is the Hermes and it's uh, black. Is it click clack called? <laughs> black with the, uh, with the gold hardware. I love it. I love it so much. I'm so glad I have it back in my collection. I was actually looking at different colors. I need something more for spring, summer, something lighter. So I might be purchasing um, a few more of these. And I love this, um, this, you know, this thickness that it's not the thick one. I used to have a bigger one and I had to sell it because it was just, um, it was just too heavy, but this is perfect. And obviously, um, the Bulgari, oh my gosh, I love this one. This is something that I purchased for myself for Christmas and I have been loving it. I've been using it. This is, uh, this is just so beautiful. I've got so many compliments already on this bracelet. This is called a Serpenti bracelet. And, um, you know, it comes also in different colors and different sizes. Mine is in a size medium. I could probably go for the size small. Um, but, you know, if you like bracelet to be kind of sitting a little bit lower, that's, that's gonna be perfect. So I have been really, really loving um, those two bracelets and then obviously the handbags. Um, honestly, I've been really good. I've been rotating most of my handbags uh, throughout the past few months and uh, I just want to give a shout out to this beauty. This is the Deville Tote. I never know the size. I guess it's small now. I don't know. This is the one that comes with the longer straps. Um, so it's smaller than the one that has the little handles in here. It's beautiful. It's perfect for winter. You know, it has this kind of a boucle material. I love this handbag. It's just, it's just so comfortable. The straps are so comfortable and you know, it's just, it's a very simple handbag, but I, oh my gosh, I love it. I love this baby. I wear it year long, but you know, I've been really reaching a lot for it. And of course I have to mention my off-white nailed tote i did recently video if you haven't seen it i'll link it up there this is also something that i have been wearing constantly so i have to obviously mention this in here as well all right guys i guess this is it my battery is running low so i have to rush i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know if you use any of those products if you use this or if you are using it right now and how you like it please leave a comment down below and uh, yeah if you are thinking about purchasing the product go for it the veal totes oh those are such an amazing handbags i love it and so versatile so go for it yeah i will obviously i will if i can find some good ones on fashion file i will certainly link down below for you so you can check it out all right so that's it for today i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll talk to you soon bye